What's up, Dippers? Dipper Dan One here. Y'all know who I am. Obviously, if you don't, I'm Dipper Dan One. It would be obvious if you looked at my channel name. Anyway, um, tonight, as y'all have read on the title already, I'm doing a review. Now, I know it, it's going to be weird. Alright? It's not going to be something that's going to be normal. And y'all know why, because of the title. Kodiak Wintergreen. Yeah, I know I swore I'd never do a Wintergreen dip review, because I hate Wintergreen dip. I can't stand it. But, this Kodiak's a little different. I still can't stand the smell of it, but the taste? Well, <clears throat> let's find out. Now, just want to get this straight first off. I don't have my mud jugs in the house. My mud jugs are in the car because I forgot to bring them in. I needed to clean them. And I forgot them and left them in the car. So, I guess I'll be cleaning them tomorrow at some point. Maybe throw them in the dishwasher. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm, trying, I'm thinking I should maybe use this sweet tea bottle because I think I've spit in here before. I can't fucking remember. Either this one. Or, it's either that or an Insure bottle. I brought this down here. This was sitting on the counter. I was like, oh yeah, I'll use this. It was bitter. I might just use the Insure bottle. Why not? Fuck it. Just because it's easier. It's smaller. You know. It's got a bigger mouth on it, right? Eh, it's about the same. But anyway. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, this is my grandma's shit. She drinks Insure. Like it's fucking, I don't know, water. Because she don't drink water. Warm Dr. Pepper. Love that. Anyway, let's get going with this Kodiak review. Now, one thing about Kodiak that I found is it's made by the American Snuff Company. Same company that makes Grizzly. Now, I'm wondering why American Snuff Company loves using bears as their logos. Grizzly? Kodiak? Look at that. Come on, y'all. Tell me. Anyway, so can construction is the same, obviously, as a grizzly can would be. Literally, exactly the same. It just says Kodiak. But it is literally exactly the same. Um, other than it's grizzly and there's a little bit bigger of a bear instead of this tiny little bear. But there's some pretty mountains in the background. I wonder where that is. I don't know. Anyway, pack us a lip. I'm going to start doing a little bit more in-depth reviews, like pinchability, um, can construction, obviously. Um, I'm not really going to write can construction, but I am going to write pinchability, I'm going to write moistness, I'm going to write, you know, my 1 out of 10, you know, dip scale, or uh, actually probably 0 to 10, because... I'm sure there's some dips that I could try that would be a zero, but I don't think I will like anything Skull. Just saying. I'm not a big fan of Skull, even though the same company that makes Skull makes Copenhagen, which doesn't make a lick of sense, because they had the best and the worst. What the hell? I guess they're going to have some kind of market. But anyway, I'm going to hold my breath, because I can't stand the smell of this shit. Anyway, there it is. I've already, you know, let's, let's get this thing clear first. I hate smell. Um, I've already dipped it. It dipped out of this can twice. Um, so this is not the first time I've had it. This is actually, this will be the fourth time I've had it. Um, first time I had it was with Tech Dipper. Um, and then, I, and then I bought myself a can. Uh, the only problem is this can is $4. Like, four fifty. Fucking ridiculous for a can of dip. I mean, Copenhagen is... What was it? I can't even remember. I don't know, I got a receipt somewhere around here, but, fucking, yeah, expensive as hell. I think Copenhagen three something, or is it two something? I don't remember, anyway, might be two, I don't know, I really don't know. Anyway, let's repack, because I know it's probably got a loose skin. 
I know y'all enjoyed that. Yeah. I wish I had some music going. But I don't have anything that can play music other than my phone. I have an iPod, but I don't know where the hell it is. Alright. Oh, I hate the smell. I hate the smell, honestly. <laughs> it just makes me cringe. It's not as bad as, like, Grizzly Wintergreen would be. Grizzly Wintergreen has a terrible, terrible smell. Alright, here we go. Putting it in. We're good. No, we're not. I know. Ugh. Oh, there's a horrible smell. Horrible. Horrible smell. Ugh. <coughs> anyway. So... It's got a nice balance of flavors. You know, it's got the tobacco flavor. But, it's like, it's a good mix between tobacco and wintergreen. It's not just overbearing wintergreen like grizzly wintergreen would be. Um, I would say this is better balanced, honestly, than Copenhagen wintergreen. Because Copenhagen wintergreen, whew. Now, of course, I get buzzed the shit off of this stuff because wintergreen, something about wintergreen that makes me buzz like crazy. I don't know why. Well, I don't think skull wintergreen would make it buzz. Make me buzz anyway. Oh. Oh. Well, sorry. I'm drawing dip. Damn. I'm sorry, I'm so trying to get used to this now. Um, pinchability. I gotta give pinchability 9 out of 10. Definitely. Um, I, as y'all can see, I didn't really make a mess. I, the only mess I made was when I started drawing a little bit. But, um, moistness, I would probably give that, uh, maybe an eight, eight and a half out of ten. It is quite moist, um, though it's not the moistest I've ever had, um, not the moistest dip. I gotta think of what the moistest dip I've ever had would be, I can't remember. Um, Probably be. Oh, what was it? Uh, I'm not really sure, honestly. But, um. Yep, yeah, Buzz is starting to kick in now. <laughs> Tell you what, I love the dip Buzz. I don't get buzzed off of anything like I get buzzed off a of dip. And, like, it's a completely different feeling. I mean, literally, I've never buzzed from cigarettes. Like, I used to smoke. Um, I quit for the longest time. I would smoke a cigarette here and there if, you know, somebody offered. But, uh, and then, yeah, what was it, two weeks ago, I smoked a pack of red 100s, Marlboro red 100s, but that's it, so, um, I'm not going to do cigarette reviews, because I don't smoke, really, I mean, every, occasionally I'll smoke a cigarette, I like cigars though, so I might do cigar reviews, maybe, uh, in the future, once I get money to start buying different cigars, um, there's this really good one that I had one time with, uh, Tech Dipper, for my 18th birthday, um, we went to the Tobacco Hut and got cigars, and, uh, 
he got this cigar, it was like fucking fruit punch. God, that was a good cigar. Mine was, mine was mellow. It was a nice flavor. We got, we, they weren't like full, you know, fucking cigars like that. I mean, they were, they were a little bit shorter than that. A little bit thinner, but I mean, they were good. Um, uh, Grisborne 94 got the same cigar that I had. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like cigars. I will smoke cigars. Um, I do also kind of want to get into smoking pipes. Um, just because, one, I mean, it kind of looks badass. And two, I mean, it, I, I think it's cool. Um, I'm going to get a corn cob pipe. But, you know, we'll see about that. <laughs> but, um, all right, let's see. Uh, Flavor-wise for this Kodiak, for the wintergreen, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty damn good. Uh, it's not really fucking good, but it's pretty damn good. Um, it's a good, like I said, it's a good mix uh, between tobacco and wintergreen flavors. Uh, it, it, it's nice and even. You know, it's... The wintergreen isn't overbearing like Grizzly is. So, it's interesting how the same company that manufactures tobacco can manufacture two different tobaccos and there are two different types of wintergreen they can be completely different it's kind of cool honestly but anyway um let's see so yeah like i said i'm not rating can or tin or whatever you want to call it. i call it a can uh construction just because you know everything's different um I know uh, Joey Leds dipping ninety four. I think is his uh, channel. I, I believe that's. I believe I got that right. I, don't know, I watch him all the time. And I can't remember his channel name just because it's so damn long. Um, he rate. I, I'm pretty sure he rates can construction. But I mean, I don't really. I mean, it's just like Grizzly, but it's Kodiak instead. So it's a little bit different. Same thing though. Same type of can. Uh, it's got that plastic thing on the back, or that uh, that label on the back that sits in there. So, huh, it's interesting. There's, I, I notice there's no expiration date on these cans. Like on Grizzly, there's no expiration date, and on Kodiak, there's no expiration date, which is kind of interesting. But this dip is definitely fresh. It's definitely not an old dip. You can tell when dip gets old, and this is definitely fresh. So, or, you know, you can tell when it gets close to the expiration date, and this is definitely far from it. So, um, anyway, let's see what's going on. Um, me and Tech Dipper have been, have spent the past four days uh, replacing my right side ball joints. Uh, the uppers we did in one day. That was easy. Um, then the low or the upper we did in one day. That was easy. The lower, when it came to the lower, that's when it got complicated. The ball joint press that I bought had bent when I was pressing it out, so I had to go get a new one. Um, and I got a ball joint with fucked up threads. Two ball joints actually with fucked up threads, so I had to go return those. Um, And then, uh, let's see, what else? I don't really know what else. Um, we decided to pull the A-arm off, the lower A-arm, because I have the, the upper and lower A-arm suspension on, on my Lincoln. And uh, we pulled the lower A-arm off, and then pressed the ball joint in. That was, let's see, what is, today's t Tuesday. That was Sunday, Sunday night. So we pressed the ball joint in with the AR off, it was so easy doing it that way with an impact gun too. Um, it was electric. I don't have air tools yet, but I actually do have a coupon for uh, Harbor Freight, which I don't know where it went. But they have an air compressor for uh, like 40 bucks, which is amazing. I don't know where my coupon went. That's sad because I need that. Anyway. So I'm going to invest in some air tools once I get money. Um, but, um, I can't remember 
one that's good too. But I got I I mean I gotta find the coupon first. I don't know where it went. Really not sure. I'll have to ask my parents. They might have it upstairs somewhere. Hopefully I didn't throw it out. I'd be mad. But um Yeah, so Um, it would have been easier with air tools instead of that battery power, but that's alright. Um, but then, we figured out that uh, we had to compress the spring in order to get it back in the A-arm. So we tried that Sunday night. It didn't work. Uh, so we worked on it all day yesterday. Finally got it in, finally got everything together. Um, replace the right side sway bar um, linkages as well because the uh, the bushings were fried on that too so um, I think I don't know I think I might do uh, since I have to retake uh, steering and suspension since we kind of didn't really do that class um, since I have to retake that um, I do believe that uh, I, I might be able to get my car in there to do that. Uh, so that would be sweet. Um, but yeah, it took us three days, three whole days to uh, get that get that lower ball joint in. That was ridiculous. I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, that's because it would have been a lot easier if we had a lift. But we didn't have a lift. So it sucked. But oh well, nothing we can do about that. So, um, I actually have to return that uh, spring compressor because it was just the rental uh, or the loaner. So I got to return that tomorrow or today. Actually, it's a uh, probably about one o'clock in the morning right now. But uh, I'll have to return that when I get back from Goochland today. So. Um, and I'll probably make a dip fit on my way home. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. My car might be too loud to make a dip video. <laughs> All you're going to hear is, Whoa! <laughs> That's alright. It's a good sound. Same. Um, I'm going to wear shorts today. got to figure out if I wear shorts to wear, though. I might, be, I might just wear the ones that I've been wearing the past couple days. They're all dirty, but I don't really care. Ugh. But anyway... Um, let's see what else. So, I called out of work. This is stupid. Stupid, stupid idea. Called out of work so I could finish the ball joints. Uh, but I told my parents, which is, this, this is the stupid part. Calling out of work to finish the ball joints wasn't the stupid part. I mean, I didn't really have a way to get to work. But, um, called out of work. And then told my parents that they didn't. That I had actually gone and they didn't need me. That was the stupid part. Because um, one of my coworkers, uh, one of the bartenders for downstairs, I don't really uh, have much interaction with her much, but she is A, a blabbermouth. Two, she's fucking annoying. And C, she goes to my parents' church. Or the church that I was going to until I started working there. But, uh, yeah. So, basically what happened was, she's like, hey, did Dan call out of work? I was like, no. He said, uh, of course, you know, being my mom. She's like, no, he said they didn't need him. She's like, oh, they were really busy. So they found out. They were pissed that I lied to him. Probably shouldn't have lied to him. Probably just said, hey, you know, actually, I know I shouldn't have lied to him. I mean, not that it's that it was the biggest deal in the world, but, um, yeah, I lied to him, so they were pretty pissed about that. Um, even though it really isn't a, that, that big of a deal, uh, but, I mean, they figured it was. So my dad says, you know what? You know what? Uh, I'm not paying for your college anymore. At all. You're going to have to pay for it. 
which sucks because I don't think I can get financial aid since they still claim me as a fucking dependent. You know, really not really dependent, but whatever. So, and you know, all this is happening, and I think about quitting my job because I fucking hate it. Like, it's not the right atmosphere for me. Like, I, swear, I mean, the food, the food running part isn't that bad, but being a bar back, really don't like it. I mean, not my kind of place, you know. So, I gotta deal with stupid ass drunk people all the time. But anyway, so I'm I'm sitting here thinking about quitting my job. Now my dad's like, oh, blah blah blah. I'm not paying for college anymore. So, I'm going to have to take out student loans. I'm going to have to do all kinds of stuff. Which is not really going to be fun. Because for this semester, he's only paid for one class. So, I don't know. And I don't think I can apply for anything until uh, the spring. Which sucks. So, I don't know. But anyway, um, let's see. What else is going on? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm broke as hell. Um, I want to quit my job, but I gotta get another job. I really want that. Really gotta get into Ford, but I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. So, um, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, alright, that's about it. Enough of my bitching and complaining. So, I guess I'll, uh, probably talk to y'all, uh, I'll, I'll talk to y'all next time I make a dip video. Um, I'll probably make one today while I'm on my way home. Or maybe going down, I don't know, we'll see. I might be too tired going down, because I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. But, uh, uh, I'll make one. Uh, so, uh, God knows when that'll be uploaded because I can't really use my phone, uh, being that I can't find the, uh, the, what's it call it, the dashboard thing that I have for it. I have no idea where it is. Can't find it. I'm going to try to find it, uh, tonight. Or this morning uh, before I go into work or before I go into uh, before I leave and my it's not in my car it's not in the garage I don't know what the hell it is I mean last time I had it I believe it was in my car um, either that or it was down here while I was making a video so I gotta search and search and search for it but I don't, I don't know hopefully I can find it um, and if not then I'm just gonna use the GoPro uh, but the problem with that is I don't know when I'm gonna be able to have time to edit and upload it so, we'll see. We will see. So, anyway. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I have a new saying. Um, new, uh, outro to the videos. Which, uh, I'm gonna start saying instead of spit black bitches. It's, uh, keep your lips fat and your spit black. So, yeah, keep your lips fat and your spit black.